How's it guys? Welcome to the three part series tutorial. We'll be using Blender and what we'll be doing in the first part is we'll be taking AI to create an SVG. This live is just, I'm being sidetracked, ADHD brain. Anyways, so the series of contents we have is part one. This, this video is AI image using Adobe Firefly to create the mesh. And part two video is the environment and materials for getting this nice photorealistic look in the surreal world of this coin just flipping around. And part three, we're, re we're going to go through the rendering settings and the compositing for making the final render to get to look nice. But as well, if you stuck with load shedding, then you have a solution because we're using EXR files instead than mp4 all righty tighty tight so we have our adobe firefly open up and it's the link is in the description it's very easy to find it even if you don't look in the description so we're going to put in our prompt which is mayan alien illustration we want the illustration because we want a 2d effect because it's going to be black and white that we're looking for at first it will be in color really cool but that's not what we're looking for so we're going through the styles you can copy and paste mine well not really paste but you can copy mine in your prompts and then what we're going to do is we're going to cycle through whatever you like what i like to do is to actually download the file because then i have it on my hard drive and ready for a different project's use now we're going to head to Inkscape. It's also in the link in the description to download. So you import your image and then we're just going to take it and go to path, trace bitmap, and then you'll see that it's displaying. So we're going to invert the image because we want the white to be the black, which is going to turn into the mesh. Now what you're going to do is to go to the multiple scans and the multiple scans to check everything to smooth everything and we're going to make the background or the white transparent because we don't want one flat image to be like turned into a mesh. So the transparency will be working in our favor over here. So what you're going to do is we're going to close it, control shift S and the control shift S is to save your SVG, your .SVG. So we can name it anything, alien SVG for the sake of this tutorial and keeping track of what's what. Next up, what we do is open Blender and we have the default scene, take everything and just throw it in the bin, delete it. And we're going to go to preferences and just enable our pool tools and SVG add-ons because that is very crucial because we want to put in an SVG file. So what do we do next is press F4 for the shortcut key to get to the import menu. The bottom one, not the top one, not the grease pencil. We want the SVG folder and take the, after it has loaded in, we're just gonna like select it. And also we just want to make the metrics correct to millimeters because we want to make it on scale. We're working very small, coins are small because we want You'll see later why now we have a lot of svg files but each one's a little bit different so you can pick and choose which one works correct looks nice to you because some will have a little bit more negative space here others here more white space black what whatever you want to call it now just delete the rest keep the one and what we're going to do is we're going to extrude extrude the <laughs> the the mesh or we're going to create the geometry that will be turned into a mesh to 10 millimeters and voila we have our 10 millimeters extrusion and we can press w and go to geometry to origin because we want to just ballpark the origin of it in the sense so we can actually put uh rotate it around the x-axis so you repeat exactly the same with the other svg we take this hide it Press F4, import the other SVG. We're going for the Mayan, import. Now you wait to begin. All right, so you have your SVG and now we repeat exactly the same process as the previous image because we're doing basically double. And we can actually unhide this one. Shift A, mesh, and we're going to go for a cylinder 
which is way too big. We just want it big enough to cover the whole image because we'll be using a Boolean modifier to cut the hole for the image. Tab, edit mode, three, choose both sides. Z wireframe so we can see the inside. And you press I and we're going to go inwards about this much. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just move this slightly and then we can adjust how much we want. And we're gonna press X and we're gonna go faces to delete that solid view. Now we're gonna press two to go for the edge loop section and we're going to choose that, fill it, choose the other side, hold F in, then it goes into circle like that. And what we're going to do is you're gonna select this and then first first the loop and then the image. You're gonna you can scale this up a little bit tad. No. By tad I mean this much. Okay. Before we can actually come before we can cut the, these two, we're going to change this. So press W, convert to mesh. Now we have our mesh. As you can see the triangle chain or the loopy doop changed into the triangle and now what we're going to do is we can actually make this a little bit smaller because I see it's a little bit there we go we want it nice and frame Z solid there we go now what we're going to do is select that select this control minus you put on the boolean tools the bool tool there we go, it has been extracted. Apply. So when we move anything, it does not give us any issues. There we go, it's selected. Now we can delete the cylinder. Hide this, put that on mesh. Now we're gonna go to cylinder again, but we're gonna change it to eight. Eight corners. Six is a little bit, mm, six eight we're going to go for six we'll keep the topology minimal as well our frame and we're going to go to edit mode select press three and select both sides i have invert and we're going all the way in like this now we're just going to move where we want it you can scale, scale it up a little bit, teeny tiny bit. Actually, because it's negative space there, it's still it's all right. So we can actually make it this size, round about. There we go. And what we're going to do is go into edit mode, X for delete, Z solid, two, and we're going to select the edges, F for fill. And we want to make sure we select the right faces. There we go. We have filled it up. And now we're going to select this and that. Actually, before we select it, W convert to mesh. It has been converted. And now we're going to control minus put on the bull tool. And we're going to apply all. And we're going to delete that coin so we have these two meshes and what we're going to do is put in the mesh cylinder already six the thickness is actually quite quite nice um, but the depth we're going to change it to an actual coin we're going to make this on scale so usually coins are at least two mils thick so we can make it 2.3 millimeters so it's really thin and the radius of it, usually it's like, we're gonna make a, a large coin, so it's 15 millimeters. And we're gonna scale these two down all the way. And we just want to select this view, clip start one, so we can see everything nicely. And I'm gonna scale this up a little bit more. Now we select this forward slash so it's only this object that we see 
going to go up three and scaled in. And then what we're going to do is we're going to scale this. Right, sorry, not scale. We're going to extrude, but we have this problem. So we're going to press S, Z, and then it's going up and down. So we can just give it a slight indent like that. There we go. And then we can add a bevel modifier because it's so small, so flipping small. Even one millimeter is way too big. So we put 0 0.3. No, that's even massive as well. 0 0.03. There we go. We have this. And we're going to add a little bit of extra segments. W shades or a smooth. There we go. And we're going to go to weighted normal to fix it all. Keep sharp face influence. And what we're going to do is forward slash again. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take this alien put it in here make it a little bit smaller and what we're going to do is press G Z to move it we can go to the side so you can press 3 or 1 to see if it lines up so we can go all the way here there we go and what we're going to do is we're going to choose select the other one and G Z all the way down there so we select these two and then the last one is the hexagon control P object keep transform press R X to move to rotate it on the X axis and then we can see if this is on the right part so we press one and then nine to flip it to the other side and we can move this a little bit more that looks nice and even nice and in place okay scale it a little bit down to give it like a nice edge type of feeling I'm gonna go a little bit upwards there we go we have our coin and in the next video you guys will see how to make the materials and the environment basically reaching the photorealistic aspect of making the renders See you guys in the next video. Subscribe.